Hello! I want to be able to share. I have been able to put my um, screens in the dual screen mode to be able to see content on one screen and my students in Zoom on another screen. I hope this can help you. I am in no means a Zoom expert, but this is what I was able to do to make my life a little bit easier. Step one, equipment. I have my laptop and I have external um, computer screens hooked to my laptop. So let's look to see what I have attached to my laptop. I personally have two screens attached to my laptop because mommy life, it has been cracked. So my laptop has an RGB video cord connected to one screen. And then I have my other video cord connected, my RGB for my second screen into a splitter to attach to my USB. But if you have a functioning laptop screen, unlike me where mine is broken, you would only need your one extra cord plugged in to be able to use your laptop and one screen. One screen for your laptop, one screen as your external monitor. But because I have two, I need to be able to convert it with my splitter. So if you're only plugging in one external monitor, then you will only need your one cord to go from your monitor to computer. You won't need the extra splitter, but because I have two screens, I need to be able to plug in two things into my one laptop. You can't help mom life. When your laptop screen gets broken, you just have to keep teaching. So I'm gonna log into Zoom and show you how to have the dual screens on your Zoom setting. Okay, we are in Zoom. I have myself and my laptop joined so I can show you. So first things first, I am going to go into my start video tab and I'm going to video settings check and it's going to show me because I'm looking down at there at my laptop in general general settings in my video settings I want to use dual monitors check use dual monitors um, I saw someone asking if I don't want to mirror my video if I want my students names to join um, I'm going to have that option. I want to spotlight myself when I speak. Always display participants' names on their video so that I can always see my students' names even if they're not talking. When I join, I always want my video to be turned off because sometimes I'm still getting ready. Um, and I want to spotlight myself when I am speaking so that I can have that there. When, so I'm gonna go out of my settings here I am, I am in dual screen mode. On my second screen, I want my presentation to be ready. So here is my screen from my class. I'm going to put it in present mode. It's not presentation mode, I just want to present. It's ready to share. So I'm in my meeting. I have my students, me, myself, and I. I'm going to start my video. Here I am, taking a video of myself, taking a video. So I'm going to share my screen on screen number two. Share so that my content is on one screen and we are on the other screen. If I wanna change it to gallery view, so now whoever is speaking is here. I'm sorry, I am in speaker view. I am in gallery mode. Hello, laptop. So I see my student and then I see myself taking a video in my host mode. So that's just one way. So please ignore my poor broken laptop. We just teach and keep on teaching. You keep on doing you, you keep on teaching. So I have my screen and I have my content. When I click on my content, my student view sees my speaker, they see me, and then I click on my content and I advance in my content so they are looking at me the teacher I can pin my video of me when I go to the video of the teacher that's me teaching then I can click on these three little dots and it says pin this video so now 
that is what the students are going to see. So if another student starts speaking, I'll unmute, and I'm talking and I'm talking and I'm talking, on my screen, it has it highlighted as my laptop is speaking, but my students stay seeing myself speaking. It doesn't un take my students out of that mode so that they can continue to see that, so that it just stays that way. So that they can continue to see speaker mode, they continue to see my content. I am no expert. I have just found that to be a little bit helpful for me when I'm teaching screen sharing on one screen for my content and my students on the other. I can see everyone. Um, it's been really great to be able to see my entire class. I've had 10 people on the screen all together where I can see everyone. I can see people raising their hand, um, literally physically raising their hand. I can see if they have questions. Um, it's been really great to see and I do find it so easy to be able to manipulate those two screens. Annotating does get a little tricky when I am annotating on my second screen because I click annotate in my zoom screen, but I want to annotate on my content. So I just have to drag my mouse over for my content. So my students do see me looking at that other screen, but I know in the world of zoom, they, they're aware that I'm, I'm not looking and being distracted. I'm looking at that second screen. So we're looking at cameras, we're looking at screens. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I am not super friendly in the world of Mac, but I hope someone that does have a Mac can be your Mac expert. Have a great day. Thank you.